I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Okay, here's a little bit of bonus footage. This was uh, aired, and I believe on the Thursday of Allentown. So I'll just kind of skip through a couple things here, or will I? Oh, we gotta wait 10 seconds. Okay, one moment. Best pinball players in the world will be in Allentown later today. They'll be competing for a cash prize and the chance to win the Stern Pinball Pro Circuit Tournament. All right, so check that out. There's um, a few interviews that happen. We got... Uh, Allie Reed, 69 oh, let's try to skip circuit, through here. Uh, There's Levi Naaman. And then Tim Sexton. And there's... There's Greg Paldarelli in here as well. But then there is London Zone, Julie Dorsers. Check this out. Now in the next half hour, she's standing over here. Julie, this person. Yeah, we're going to be focusing in on her. She's a world championship champion coming from Canada all the way here to the Lehigh Valley. And we're going to be talking to her in the next half hour, guys. So if you want to see a woman that's actually good at pinball, she's the person to talk to. All right, coming up. Yeah, she won Women's Allentown in 2019. She was the Womp pinball champion um which stands for women of mother something pinball Hasiel, Karen, uh, I tried to dabble in some pinball earlier. I think that I'm going to leave that up to Julie. By the way, like world champion here over here, 2019 <laughs> Women's Pin Fest champion from Allentown, or here in Allentown, but you're from Canada, yes. making your way here to the Lehigh Valley. How does it feel to be back in uh, as the reigning champion? <laughs> it feels great. The pressure's on, though. <laughs> Apparently, I have to uh, do magical things today, but uh, I'm just going to play my best and have a good time. No, I mean, it, it's incredible that you're here, and I think it's also really special that you're female right I think a lot of people think that pinball or uh, these types of games is a male dominated sport we can call it right but uh, that's quickly changing and, and females are kind of taking over right we're not taking over quite yet but we're, we're, getting, there. There. we're getting there there's a lot more uh, women's uh, pinball leagues now and there's more tournaments where we see women who are playing better and competing against the men even yeah. so it's coming um, for the little girls that might be sitting at home this morning saying hey maybe I'll, i want to try out a, a game of pinball um is it easy for them to try to, to get out and do this it's easy they can come here today if they like yeah uh, you can pay 20 dollars at the door and you can all, all the games are free yeah. so you can just play and see if you like it right? well, see if you enjoy it we have a game here i actually wanted to see the pro play herself um and specifically with this game you said there's kind of a backstory with it too during covid right yeah during covid i rented this uh, the same title from a friend of mine and I had it put in my house for three months so I could practice it so and know cool, the game right? and learn it and I, we love Star Trek we're, we're Trekkies at our household so well let's start it up I want to see you play okay so, so I just think that that really is amazing and now uh, talk to me kind of walk me through as you're playing what you're doing so first of all I'm gonna select a mission the okay. start buttons here and then I select a mission I always pick the Klingons um, but I'm gonna go here because I I have to hold this left flipper to get the skill shot. Okay. So the ball's going to come all the way around, and I'm going to try to hit one of the red lights. All right. Let's see. Let's see you work your magic, Julie. And I did not do that, but that's okay. You know, the cool thing is that you mentioned this, your journey to get here. She took an RV, people, all the way from Canada. You said it was like, what, something like an eight-hour trip, right? Well, it's a seven-hour drive in a car, but when you're in an RV with a uh, A little bit longer than that. It's a little bit longer, and we stopped a lot, and... Uh, Am I distracting you, by the way? Oh, I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I'm, I'm trying to hit the blinky lights. <laughs> but now, so what you're doing right now, um, so if people want to actually come and watch you this weekend, they, they can do that, right? They can come and kind of... Are they 
allowed to gather around and watch the pro work? Um, hockey? you probably have to stay a safe distance. Uh, okay. Football players get upset if you're uh, too close. You can't get up in their grill, right? <laughs> that's right. That's right. So, but uh, you can watch, and I believe it's streamed. I believe backhand pinball is streaming this uh, the playoffs at least. Right. I know it's going to be on Twitch too. So it will be uh, on Twitch, and that's I believe the backhand pinball. Uh, they you. have a great streaming. They'll have announcers, and they'll be doing kind of the play-by-play. Uh, they're actually very good at that. So now if you want to see Julie and some of the other people that are going to be here this weekend, it's going to kick off at 12 o'clock today, going until 9 o'clock tonight. Same thing tomorrow. So this is only Friday and Saturday. So if you want to come out this weekend, you're going to have to either do it tonight or tomorrow. And I figured, hey, you know what? It's probably the best thing to do. It's going to be a little bit rainy outside, and it's certainly not going to be raining in here. So if you need something to do this weekend, this is the perfect opportunity to do so. Julie, you're still doing your thing. I'm going to continue to watch her. You'll be able to find all of this over on our website, all of the segments that we did this morning over on WFMC.com if you want to check out me completely not know what I'm doing in the game of pinball. Yeah, it's, uh, it was a great time. Anyway, so uh, you, again, you'll be able to find this all over on our website. But for now, life here in Allentown, Allie Reed, 69 News. Back to you. Wow, how about Julie being able to be interviewed and keep the I'm ball play in play? At the same time. I'm impressed. Mm -hmm. yeah. And there it is. So, uh, yeah, Julie uh, going in the RV was with, uh, you know, like eight or so of uh, some of the local pinball boys. And they brought back, I found out today, around eight machines. Corey from London Pinball got six, and Jeff Waters got himself a couple, and maybe there's more. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, they've been known to bring back uh, trailer loads of machines from Allentown. Anyway, that was a cool little news article. Uh, I'll try and link the uh, full article in my description if you want to see the rest of it, 14 minutes long. But, uh, yep, there you go, some Allentown shenanigans. All right, this is for pinball shenanigans. I'm going to do a little tour. I'm here early. I got to be on TV this morning. It's pretty awesome. So this is the Project Pinball game, Frankenstein. And then these are the tournament games. They're currently shut off. Uh, because they don't want people to play them. So we have Royal Rumble. I think Matt McGoffin knows that game. Star Trek, Game of Thrones, Tron. Oh, I think Dimas would love this tournament. Walking Dead, Avengers, and I think a Black Knight's coming in here too. We got a Folly, uh, Dragon Fist. I don't know this Dragon Fist game very well. Uh, Star Wars, Mike would be really, you should be here, Mike Dimas. Uh, Viking, awesome game, Harlem Globetrotters, Galaxy, Aztec, uh, Jungle Princess, Countdown, this is the Women's Bank, Countdown, Space Station, there's Greg, uh, 300, Blackout, and Guardians of the Galaxy. So I'm going to do a little tour for you. So there's all sorts of vendors here. It's actually, so they're, the vendors are actually just getting set up because the doors aren't open yet. The doors don't open till noon. So I, I got like an inside scoop here. Um, and then you have some stand up video games. There's the little snack place. Oh, a rock and bowl. This looks kind of fun, doesn't it? Boy, I don't think I've ever seen one of these. Somebody's been cleaning it off. That looks really fun. Oh, a Space Jam. A lot of these games are for sale. Oh, Lost World, Supersonic. Oh, Space Shuttle, wow. Laser Ball. So I'm gonna sneak, sneak through here and I'm gonna show you the next row. So there's there's like four or five rows of games. Some of them haven't even got here yet. You can see there's some empty space. Probably because they haven't got here. I'll take more video later so you can see. Um, oh, a lovely pin bot. Let's see what the price is. Not selling. Oh, he wants a trade. He didn't. He doesn't say how much it is. Oh, it's too bad. 
Oh, Gilligan's Island, a whirlwind that's being fixed. Strato Flight, Knight Rider, that's a good game. All new, oh, what's that? 1500, oh, that's not bad. 1250 for a Hocus Pocus, Laser Ball. Oh, back glass is a little bit worn. Buckaroo. Oh, this is a fun little game. Look at that. 1200. Okay, and I'm going down the next row. Team one. These guys are setting it up. Is it for sale? No, sold already. All right. A lot of deals happened beforehand at Allentown. Corey came yesterday. He already sold most of his um, dragons, and I think he bought four games already. So he's up and running, and he'll probably buy a lot of parts. Oh, this is a beautiful game, Aquarius. I don't know if I've ever seen an Aquarius. What is that? It's not on yet. Let's see if it works. Looker. Flash. Oh, a power play. Oh, a Spider Man. Oh, that back glass is nice. Playboy. Meteor. Ace is high. Oh, and there's some decals for sale. We get some decals. They want 8200 for the Simpsons. There's the bad girls. Oh, this is that rock with no back glass. Oh, I think this is a re-theme. I'll have to come back to this and check it out. Meteor. Oh, a big guns. So guys, it's raining out, so everybody's got rain gear on. There's another Electronimo. Way more than what I paid for mine, but the back glass quite well done. Sorry, my finger's in the way. There's a Metallica 7500. That's actually not that bad. It's got a nice play feel. Sorry if I'm going too fast. Oh, a Dracula. Bad Cats. I think it's 5,000. Oh, a fire. I love fire. I think it's a beautiful game. Millionaire, uh, Doug Lang has that. Believe it or not, Pinbot. Oh, somebody was looking for a taxi. I think Rob Kirshner. So, Tales from the Crypt, Cyclone, Magic, Party Zone, Old Daddy East Simpsons. So I'm just, oh, there's my, an old Spectrum. I love that game. Here's a dragon. Probably Corey's dragon. Okay, I'm just gonna stop here. Oh, and look who was spotted at Allentown by my buddy Corey Cook of London Pinball, who snapped this shot. Chris McKinley, in front of a bunch of cool machines. Hey, it's blocking out some of the photo there, but shout out to Chris who at Allentown purchased himself. A new earth shaker and mousing around. Oh yeah. Hope you enjoy those games. And thanks for the shenanigander support, my friend.